Hello. We're here at uh, King Lake today. We're doing a photo shoot for Maddie. Photo shoot for me. Photo shoot for Maddie. She's uh, made some music and she's got an idea for a photo to put the music to. So we're just here at King Lake. Um, we've only got one camera today, the 5D. Parts of Victoria isn't open on weekends. So we're now driving around ourselves to try find something interesting to look at, find a nice composition. We're photographing for, for double exposure today. Um, we're not going to actually do in-camera double exposure, but we're going to do a Photoshop later. But it's the idea of having trees coming out of Maddie's head. And I'll be using the same theme for some photos. Been a nice area. No dead trees. I mean, all these trees have been burnt and were dead at one point. You can see here. They're all like that here and they're quite spread out and it's really nice. So I think there's a composition here. It's just about finding the right one. So we got home yesterday and we edited our photos. I thought I would start in Lightroom and, and correct the photos, but really I didn't need to. Um, I was going into Photoshop anyway and I could always just make the corrections I need to there. So I stopped in there and then went into Photoshop and started working out how to do my image. I thought I recorded my process, I didn't, <sighs> rookie mistake. But basically I just cut out the trees, cut out my head. Um, and once I worked out a process for those two, which took me a couple of, it took, it took me like all day, looking up tutorials and how to get it the way I wanted it. Um, <clears throat> doing the background and all the colors, that was quite easy. Um, and so doing the other two images was like an hour, because uh, I already knew how to do everything else. I initially had the idea of um, double exposing my face, which is what I, I did. But double, like, double exposing my face with a tree and then behind me was going to be like the woods and it was going to be all these dead trees and they were all going to be faded and have mist around it and all this kind of stuff. And I tried and I started to do that and I realized that I don't have <laughs> the best Photoshop skills in the world and I kind of had no idea what I was doing. I ended up um, just getting the tree that I initially had double exposed on my face and then I decided to use, um, I create my own mist and my own fog with some clouds and some brush and, and then um, I decided to put uh, some colour in the background just to add a little bit of life to it instead of it just being completely black and white because it's a little bit hard to see my face and it's a little bit hard to, um, to understand what's going on. Like my idea came across.